here with Yin Tan, the director and the writer of 1985, which just premiered at South by Southwest. And now you're here at Diff, so you're a hometown guy, right? Yes, I mean, I, I lived in Dallas up until 2011, and I moved to Austin. But, you know, I played at Diff a couple times already, so it always feels like coming home, for sure. Yeah. yeah and one of your previous features, Pit Stop, actually won an award here. Yes, yeah, for sure. So, moving between features, you know, 1985 is what we are watching tonight. We're right. celebrating that one tonight. Tell us a little bit about that and how that story um, was kind of born. Yeah. Um, 1985 is uh, set in 85. And it's about a man who comes home, uh, who goes home to his family in Fort Worth, and he's from New York. And he's like visiting him for the holidays. And essentially, we find out that he's he's closeted and he's also is sick, you know. And it's about how he tries to tell his family about it, or he tries not to. And it's also about how what we learn from his family, you know, from his dad and mom, and it's also his younger brother, and this sense of like you know like the secrets we hide from each other even though we're family and technically we're like the most important people in our lives but then we don't review ourselves to each other so it kind of plays on that and also it's like a way to sort of reflect on what was happening back in the 80s in terms of you know that's a, the bigger scale of what the epidemic was doing the AIDS epidemic but this is like the sort of like the the smaller intimate version of you know like what happens at a home you know when that's in the backdrop so I was talking to one of your young actors here he he's playing to the camera down right. there and he was talking to me about how you were always cracking jokes on set and you wanted to you know keep it a fun atmosphere and an, it, an uplifting atmosphere how do you do that when you're dealing with something so serious I feel like Unless the actors tell us otherwise, in other words, if they feel like we're big breaking their concentration, uh, I think they need that as a as a way to offset what they're going through. Because I feel like every time we shoot them doing something emotional, it's very um, demanding, you know. And I think it like kind of wipes them out in a way. So I think making jokes on the side is a way to for them. It's like a it's like a relief, you know. Uh, so I think that's what we're trying to do, even though at the same time, I think we were also doing it for ourselves as, as a crew because, you know, being on a set is so stressful and it's long hours. And I think you you crack jokes to sort of like keep yourself awake. Keep yourself safe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Tell me a little bit about your collaboration with Hutch. I yeah. talked to him a few minutes ago, but I want to hear it from your side. How did okay. you guys meet? When okay. did you start working together? Uh, I worked. I started working with him. I'm, I've known Hutch as a friend and then I I started working with him on my previous feature pit stop and I think it's like pretty much like a relationship that's not just personal professional it sort of like bleeds into each other in a very organic way and so even when we're not working and we talk about stuff it you know we always talk about films and then we talk about influences we talk about what we like and what we don't like and then by the time we make something together it's almost like you know like we don't really have to go into it anymore because we have covered it so much every time we talk so there's a certain like a shorthand when we work with each other and I think it's like one of those examples that I I would love to have more of those kind of relationships where you work with your friends you know because I think I think there's something very meaningful about that that kind of collaboration because like because they know you you know they know you you know like personally and then they kind of like can translate that into what you're drawn to your sensibilities and all that kind of stuff and I think it's important to have that kind of uh, working relationship too and thank you so much for thank bringing you. this film home yeah. thanks so much it's really good to meet you in yeah, person.